So, are you a smoker? Thought about giving up, but you're worried about the long-term effect of using e-cigarettes? Well, the message on vaping has, frankly, been a bit confusing. Yes, e-cigarettes help you stop smoking, but could they cause harm in other ways? Well, now, leading doctors tell us to put aside any concerns because, well, they're so much better than cigarettes. The Royal College of Physicians says smokers should be encouraged to vape. Well, here to discuss those findings is Dr John Britton from the Royal College of Physicians, along with Sarah Jakes, who quit smoking three years ago and now used e-cigarettes, and Joanna Miller, who works with smokers to help them quit. Thanks very much for joining us. I mean, John, how confident are you that vapors or vaping is actually safe because there's been an awful lot of sort of stories out there saying that you know they've trialed it with mice and mice have had breathing difficulties are you absolutely rock solid sure no it's safe nothing's absolutely safe what we conclude in the report and one of the reasons for bringing the report out was to look at this issue is that long-term electronic cigarettes probably do have some adverse health effects but the magnitude of those effects what, is extremely sort of small. Might they have? The, the likely effects would be an increased risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, possibly an increased risk of lung cancer, possibly but cardiovascular disease. That but, sounds pretty grim to me. Well, it, it sounds it, and that's the s part of the same spectrum as you get from tobacco smoking. But the size of that increase in risk is much, much smaller. Mm -hmm. So if you're a non-user of nicotine, it makes no sense to start using an electronic cigarette but if you're a smoker it's a no-brainer to switch okay. because the risk is so much lower. Sarah a no-brainer because you did switch. Mm, it was a no-brainer it was a, it was a no-brainer I mean I smoked 20 cigarettes a day mm -hmm. on and off for 34 years before I bought uh, a refillable type device um, just to use in my car uh, and within two weeks I'd switched. But was that because you thought I've got to stop smoking I'll try Vaping. Is that what you... At the time, I wasn't looking to quit at all. You know, oh. I literally, I just bought the device to use in my car. I had tried to give up smoking several times before and several times successfully. But I have to say, giving up smoking is the easy bit. The hard bit is staying off of smoking, not going back to it. Mm. And Joanna, I mean, I suppose the question mark in my head about um, e-cigarettes is, are they still addictive and don't they contain nicotine? So is this progress? Um, Electronic cigarettes do contain nicotine. Um, these days you can also get electronic cigarettes without any nicotine or extremely low uh -huh. nicotine content. Um, however, I would suggest for a person who is a heavy smoker, who, who is considering um, swapping to vaping, that they would start on quite a high dosage of nicotine um, and then with time they could probably move on to lower. Can I, what is vape. wrong with cold turkey? Just bang, that's it. Quitting smoking is quite a difficult thing um, and you also experience um, withdrawal symptoms from, from withdrawing from nicotine. Um, there is evidence base that suggests that um, if you um, consider maybe taking, uh, having some help in quitting smoking in terms of coming to a clinic like the smoke, um, Stop Smoking Service that I work at um, and you have behavioural support, um, that can help you um, more successfully quit smoking and if you also have um, different types of medication or nicotine replacement products along the way um, that can um, increase your chances even further. Mm. John, do you think the government should then maybe promote e-cigarettes if they are, if the risks, the health risks are so much less, should they actually aggressively say, think about changing? What we would like to see is a change in the way that all nicotine products are regulated and, and recommended by government and all of the health authorities in such a way that the, the pressure is always to move away from smoked tobacco. If you're going to use nicotine, then inhaling tobacco smoke is the most dangerous way you could possibly do it. So we want to encourage people to switch, ideally to medicinal products and behavioral support, as Joanna's described, but if that doesn't work for them or they don't feel ready for that, then an electronic and cigarette. And do you know, I mean, how many people use e-cigarettes? Is it a tiny, tiny, tiny number of smokers, or is it actually 
beginning to build up now? No, at the moment there are over two million two people. Million? Two million? people who are using electronic cigarettes to varying degrees. Roughly. Nearly nine million. So two million is an awful lot. It is an awful lot, and it would be good if the figure was a lot higher. Uh -huh. And Sarah, do you suppose, I mean, you, you use the e-cigarettes now, mm. do you suppose there will ever come a time when you just take the e-cigarette, chuck it over your shoulder and say, no, I'm stopping altogether? Or, will you, or are you now addicted to e-cigarettes? Well, I, I was always dependent on nicotine, so I, obviously I'm probably still dependent on nicotine, but I think that the dependency is lower. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, I think probably for me it wouldn't be the right thing to do to uh, ditch my e-cigarette, because past experience of quitting tells me that then I will relapse and probably to smoking. Mm. So for me it has a kind of a, a protective effect as well. Have you tried, I mean I presume you have tried patches, gum, mm. <laughs> and <laughs> any use? No, no. Um, every time I gave up with any degree of success it was cold turkey I have to say. Mm. And John, I mean if e-cigarettes are the way to get people off uh, smoking, and we two million, I'm surprised at the figure, um, I mean is your sense that this is the way to crack the issue of smoking addiction and all the sort of health risks that go with it? Is this, is this the answer? I'd be reluctant to say it's the answer. I think that um, every person's different and the, sort of the way that they stop smoking should be tailored to their individual needs. I think that it's probably quite an attractive method, something new that's on the market that hasn't been there before and I think it most closely mimics the actions and the feelings of smoking so it can yeah. be quite an easy switch. That's, that's that's the, the thing about it, it's the appeal and the fact that, that, that they are so varied within themselves that people can always find something that they want. Okay, let me just, sorry, we've got some uh, emails here, I'll just read you some out, which is quite interesting. Uh, so there's an email from Graham, he says, I was smoking at age 15, I tried to give up many times using patches and prescribed medicines, but always went back to them. I finally stopped smoking in May 2015 after my daughter bought me an e-cig. Okay, well there's more proof. An email from Victoria, I find it unbelievable that the findings are still showing that e-cigarettes are only used for people who want to stop smoking. It's my opinion that it's made smoking acceptable again. Well, I mean, that's an interesting point, isn't it? That actually it might have the reverse effect. Suddenly it's socially okay to have a blast on an e-cigarette. Well, the evidence is that people who use electronic cigarettes are almost entirely people who would otherwise be smoking. Mm. So what you could also argue is that seeing people using electronic cigarettes in public places, for example, normalises the act of not smoking but using electronic cigarettes. Mm. Now, on a risk uh, spectrum, that is a far less hazardous thing to see and to try to... Yeah. There's just, let me just pick up this email, actually, that I thought was interesting, from Tony. He says, having stopped smoking for the past few months, I find it really disgusting that e-cigarettes are allowed to be smoked in public places. Sarah, I have to say, I was walking along outside Westminster the other day, and there's this mm. guy in front of me, like a steam train, of smoke billowing yeah. uh, behind, uh, out of him. Um, mm. Do you find that people actually don't like it? Even yeah. though it's an e-cigarette, they, they, they do think, uh, yuck. People do. Um, I think it's, there's an etiquette needs to develop around this. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's basically, it's just manners. You don't blow stuff in people's faces. Um, I mean, I've got the little device on the table there, um, which is incapable of creating clouds. So I physically couldn't annoy anybody like that with that. But I have got devices that will do that, but you just have to be careful you know, when and who's around you when you use it. Yeah, let me just take another email because we're getting an awful lot on this. Um, so this is from Julie, email from Julie. I went from smoking 50 plus a day, goodness me, mm. to five a day overnight when I picked up my first e-cigarette over two years ago. If vaping were banned or curtailed further, I would be back on the fags as quickly as I dropped them. Joanna, is, I mean, vaping kind of on the growth just here or I mean is this you know worldwide that there is now a move from you know smoking cigarettes to e-cigarettes is that are we kind of ahead of everyone else or are we just in line with everyone else do you know I'm not really sure about um, the statistics I'll probably say it's quite on the rise in Western mm -hmm. countries but I'm not sure if John, maybe you have John? more. Uh, the UK is well ahead of, of most countries in the world. Uh, we have very high uptake of electronic cigarettes because we haven't had uh, prohibitions or, or any other restrictions on their sale. Other countries are close by, but some, Australia, for example, prohibit use. And 
and I think that's bad for public health in those countries. Mm, very interesting, very interesting. Guys, thank you very much indeed for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you.